A lot of you were requesting this album, so let's just review it. Kaigo, Kids in Love. And I will still be here, stargazing, I still look Okay, okay, first track, Never Let You Go, featuring John Newman. Now, John Newman, a uh, British singer, uh, he was very popping, he was very popular um, during like 2012, 13, 14, but uh, there was a decline. Uh, but now it seems to be he's uh, collaborating with a famous DJ again. Uh, before he was he collaborated with Rudimental and Kevin Harris. So let's just see what's up. I'm excited. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Very promising start. Woo! Okay. I wish, I wish the drop would have been cooler a little bit, the beat in the chorus, but it's still nice, still nice, not bad. Oh, okay, okay, now it dropped, I see, I see. Okay, uh, not a bad track, but uh, honestly, like, I wasn't blown away by it, I... Uh, like, I wasn't really feeling it, like, wasn't, like, really, really feeling it, I was like, it was, yeah, it was cool, but, like, mm, like, I wish it was a better song still, because, like, I'm not feeling that I will, you know, passionately come back to this song and, like, listen to it a lot, not really feeling that way, unfortunately. Uh, it felt like, um, you know, it sounded like a Avicii track, honestly, more than Kaigo's track, even though we know that Kaigo can do a lot of uh, great stuff with different material, with like uh, different genres of music, even like uh, the, his uh, tunes, although uh, they have similarity of that like chill and nice uh, beats, uh, like soulful beats. Uh, throughout his career, uh, still there are a lot of inventions throughout the sound, and this one w was one of it. Uh, however, like uh, this time, the invention kind of thing uh, for me at least didn't uh, work out uh, that well. Uh, and although I love Avicii, you know, nothing was wrong with this sound, but it's just like I don't know, I just didn't really uh, dig the song. But let's just see what's gonna happen next. Track two, Sunrise, featuring Jason Walker. Pick me up. Okay. My eyes are heavy and keep me from you. Okay. Alright. Turn this up more. or something or in Europe like Barcelona all right track three riding shotgun featuring Oliver Nelson and Bonnie McKee uh, I gotta say by the way that track two for me it was a little better uh, than never let you go uh, yeah pretty good track uh, although I'm still thinking that maybe you know if I'll give a couple more listens to never let you go and then uh, compare those two tracks uh, maybe one day <laughs> never let you go will be better for me than uh, the second track but for now it is what it is uh, track three riding shotgun <laughs> Like fool, if you want, you know, I'm digging. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, definitely that one is my favorite for now. Uh, and uh, now I'm kind of digging it more and like I'm into the project more for some reason. I mean, didn't have a really good day, you know, wasn't really in the right mindset, I believe. Uh, uh, and wasn't really ready, I guess, mentally to <laughs> dig into Kaigo's record. But like, now um, uh, this track though, um, got me uh, more energetic and got me more hyped about the project. So that's good, that's good, definitely. So with this uh, appeal and with this, um, attitude and mood let's continue to listen to the album track four uh, featuring one republic okay 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 stranger things here we go okay okay Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> vocals, vocals, damn vocals. Uh huh. I like this, I like this uh, melody. Yeah, this one is very atmospherical. Just, yeah, I'm just enjoying this part though, like... Yeah. <laughs> Track 5, With You, featuring Rabel. Something about the world's gonna end uh -huh. I think about I love the lyrics on this one particularly I love the way Raybo sings over here. Very attractive style. Track 6, Kids in Love, featuring the Night Game. I already reacted to that uh, song and um, that will be that video will be suggested at the end of the video. So uh, you can go ahead and check that reaction later. Uh, so track 7, Permanent, featuring Jay Hart. It's like a uh, heart touching, very, uh, I would say even like heavy track. You know, I just like the way Kaigo did this album. Uh, we still uh, have the last track to listen to. I will listen to that and give me, give uh, my opinion uh, on this album. Track 8, I See You featuring Billy Raful. Sorry to turn the only thing on my mind. Sweet, sweet, nice. 
Okay, so final thoughts on this album. Uh, let's start with the fact that uh, in terms of production, it was uh, pretty um, different to Kaiko. Uh, the sound, like, of course, was different than the Stargazing EP. Stargate, I love Stargazing EP. It was very chill, very atmospherical, kind of nocturnal. It was great, but uh, here we have something interesting going on as well uh, but in a different way and now I would love to talk about more about lyrics because that's where it gets very interesting so we have very consistent packed album of eight tracks and uh, for for first four tracks we are talking about uh, love and we are talking about you know that uh, feeling when uh, you are attached so well that you admire everything about that person uh, you spend the nights together and uh, uh, basically a lot of admiration going on over there but then it gets sad there's like act one when love is great and act two when love is uh, depress depression uh, and uh, on the second uh, uh, act our um, narrator basically even though it comes with uh, different features you know the album goes with different features it feels like they're all telling a story from one perspective from one guy uh, who used to um, date this uh, wonderful woman uh, but after track 4 or I believe it was track 4 where things got messed up and now uh, slowly but surely they became distant and uh, starting from track 5 he's just now remembering uh, what he had remembering all the great stuff and remembering uh, well, for example Kaigo's uh, track with you featuring Rabel uh, he's uh, sitting at the bar with some friends and talking about how good it used to be with her and he still love her and he's still saying that if we are all gonna die, I wanna die with you. And that's how strong he feels about uh, this lady. And she also narrated that um, that girl, I'm not sure about if it's a guy or a girl, you know, I'm just assuming in, like, because uh, I'm, a, I'm a guy and uh, I'm attracted to girls. So that's why I kind of like coming from man's perspective over here. So that's why I'm saying that the narrator is man. But uh, it can be vice versa for sure. So um, he's saying, told me we would better be just friends, you know, left me with my heart in no hands. So I just, I just love what's going on over here. There's a lot of uh, uh, imagery as well going on through the lyrics and I, I liked it. I liked it. Also track six, Kiss and Love. Uh, uh, again, a lot of good fruits uh, in terms of lyrics over here and uh, in terms of narrating the story, Kaigo, great, uh, Kaigo does a great job. We were kids in love and then we grew up, but uh, now, you know, something happened. Won't you hold me close tonight? Like, what's, what's, wrong, what's wrong now, you know? He's still hoping that he will get her back. And in track 7 and track 8, uh, we're hoping for the act 3, which is gonna be, you know, coming back together. However, it doesn't happen. I thought that in track eight, uh, girl is gonna come back, but she doesn't. And Kaigo, um, Kaigo's lyrics on the track eight seems like the most um, like heart dragging, heartbreaking. Um, and track seven's instrumentals gave that feel as well a lot. Like it was very heavy. Um, he was. Uh, like uh, let's just read like because that was that was beautiful you're the only thing on my mind and it's keeping me up at night another night another stranger's door hoping when it opens i will see you wishing i could go back to that night uh, to that stranger's door knowing when it opened i would see you you know it's uh <laughs> it's very uh like um yeah, heavy lyrics, it's uh, definitely, because it's relatable, it's also like, gives you uh, certain emotions, uh, it gets you into your feelings as well, so, 
definitely Kaigo great project um, wished to see a happy ending of the story but it didn't happen and uh, I guess it's even more realistic because so many relationships even if they were great and if if they felt like they're gonna last forever unfortunately they don't and that's how it is and uh, he just gave a realistic picture over here kids in love but um, you know when they grow up unfortunately like something happens and they they just couldn't make it you know together so that's uh, my uh, album review uh, and the reaction uh, hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to this channel definitely and also don't forget to check out my reaction to track 6 kids in love uh, will be suggested uh, right now <laughs> so um, I will end the video over here comment below what you think about this album um, let's talk about it пока Hayer, auf Wiedersehen, Arvidertje, Adios, Ciao, Ciao, Aurivan, Horofis, Anion, Goodbye.